Ladies and gentlemen, people of the internet, Retro Reconteur here. Welcome back to another live stream. Another Try Wizard Tuesday, people of the internet. And if you're new here, if you're watching this later on the VOD, know we will have timestamps down below so you can jump to whatever section of the video you want. A lot of you like to skip the little intro here at the beginning. But if you want to stay and hang around, we do a little just chatting segment here at the beginning of each stream. And we are continuing to play. I've just kept it over there because it's I can just I can just do like this. <laughs> we are continuing to play Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1. That's right, guys. All the way back. Actually, I need to... Uh, let me make a tweet about this. Then we'll get caught up with everybody in the chat. Give people a bit here to trickle in. Trickle in, trickle in, people of the internet. Fortunately, no storms today, at least at the moment. <laughs> uh, I think we're supposed to get some rain later on today. But yeah, if you were here last week, man, last week was kind of a, kind of a crazy day. Because it was like a historical day for storms from... I think they actually ran all the way up into... Parts of Illinois, Indiana, down through like Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama. I mean, it was just like kind of this whole section of the uh, of like the the sort some of the Midwest, kind of the Southeast as well. Yeah, it was it was a wild day. Fortunately, we didn't have too much damage here. We had a couple of uh, window shutters that blew away. And then we have like a home alarm system and that little sign blew away. We, we couldn't find that one. We looked all over. All right, so back again for more Harry Potter. Or let's just say Chamber of Secrets on PS1. We, something about following the spiders. Let me put a little spider emoji in here. But yeah, how's everybody doing, man? What have you guys been up to? How's life? How's work? How's family? How's school? Man, I love every week hopping in here and just seeing... It, it's crazy just how worldwide the audience is. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Alright, who do we have in the chat here? Let me switch it over from instead of top chat. We want the live chat. I see Trisha. Trisha was the first name that I saw today. Welcome in, Trisha. Thank you so much for being here today. We also have B Mill. That's right, B Mill. We got we got it a little bit earlier today, so hopefully it's not too late for you. But B Mill can usually only stick around for a little bit <laughs> because it's it's so late for B Mill. But always appreciate you stopping by, B Mill, even if it's just for a moment. Even if it's just for a little moment. All right, now I feel like I need to, let's put a GIF with this one. Chamber of Secrets. Uh, how about Harry Potter flying car? I mean, we might see the flying car again today. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, back again for more Chamber of Secrets on PS1. Something about following the spiders today. All right, boom, tweet is out. If you guys know anybody who you think could be interested in the stream, man, feel free to send them a link. Send them a link. I'm also thinking about starting to co-stream as well over on uh, over on our Twitch channel. I didn't want to do it today because I thought I would, I would try to finish, I'll just finish one series. But yeah, now that Twitch has changed those rules, I just, I don't know, the more I think about it, it it doesn't really make sense not to do it. So everything would be the same over here. It would basically just be like, hey, I'm live in two places. So you guys could watch in either spot. Wookie Cookie is back with us as well. Harrison, Metatron, Niels, Cantor on. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome in. Thank you for stopping by for another Triwizard Tuesday. We got King Tut in the house. We got Intel or 98, a.k.a. Arvin. In the house, Savage Khaleesi, Martin, Alicia, Wookie Cookie, Christian Gamer, all of those right there, House Wrecking Tour members. Thank you guys for being here. We got Alicia sporting that. Is that, the, I believe that's the one year badge for Alicia right there. 
It's hard for me to tell on this little uh, chat box that I have. <laughs> Wookie Cookie! Also sporting one of those badges. Actually, Wookie Cookie has a different badge. Savage Khaleesi with a badge as well. Edward Lilly! That's a new name. I don't remember seeing that one before. Edward, thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, Edward, don't worry. We'll get to the game eventually. We like to do a little just chatting here in the beginning. And sometimes the newcomers, man, they, they just like, they get a little antsy for the game. They get a little antsy. And I'm just like, it's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. Oh, man. Just kidding, Edward. Edward's going to be patient. I can already tell. Edward's, Edward's a patient fellow. Becky, a.k.a. Eternal Remorse. Welcome in. Another house racking tour member. Cloud Roth. Yo, Cloud Roth, it's been a while, dude. Welcome in. Welcome back, I should say. Trevor, welcome in, Trevor. I'm sad this is probably the last PS1 stream. You love these two games. That's right. These were the only two games for PS1, right? It was uh, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. I think that's it for, for the PlayStation 1. Yeah, I don't know if we'll finish this one today. I mean, I'm, I'm down for a big stream, so I'm... I'll just tell you guys, I'm going to try to finish it today. I'm going to try to finish it today. And then I think after that, what I might do is for next week, I might put up a couple of different options over on our YouTube community page. Maybe let House Rack and Tour members vote. So if you guys are our channel member here, you know we do little uh, members only polls from time to time, members only videos once a month. But yeah, I think I might put it out to you guys because there's a lot of different directions we could go. <laughs> we could go in the direction of the more whimsical games, the more bizarre games like the Connect game, like the Wonder Book, the PlayStation Move game. That's kind of one path I see that we could go. Another path is we could just try and finish out all the main games. So we still need to do, we need to go back and do the uh, Philosopher's Stone remake. So they remade Philosopher's Stone for, let's see, what gen was that for, man? For the PS2, <laughs> Xbox, GameCube. They remade it. So remember how we played, and I, I don't even know if you can call it a remake. I mean, in some ways, it's a, it's a different game. So we, on the channel here, we have played Philosopher's Stone on the PC, developed by No Wonder. Then we've played Philosopher's Stone slash Sorcerer's Stone on the PS1, which was made by, I think it's Argonaut Games, was their, was their name, I believe. Well, then they had, a few years later, whenever they started making Chamber and Prisoner of Azkaban for, like, the GameCube, PS2, that era, they also remade the first game. <laughs> so, that's, that's, like, I think that's the final, like, main game that we haven't played then the third path is we go the direction of the handheld games so I, i'm gonna get to all of them eventually i mean that's my goal i want to but in terms of which direction we go next i might leave it up to you guys yeah because we've done the lego games obviously we've done hogwarts legacy we've done all of the, I, I i still keep getting people asking for us to play hogwarts legacy again which i'm like i mean if you really want me to <laughs> i've done everything in the game but yeah, I might. We'll have to do a poll. We'll do a poll if we if we finish today. Then we'll do a poll on the channel this week, asking you guys and uh, seeing what direction you want us to go. But don't be sad, Trevor. Don't be sad. This is not the end. Maybe the end of the PS One games, but hey, you you never know around here. You can always go back. You can always go back and revisit. Jenny, good morning. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Son is t now two months old and just started a new job. Wait, your son started a job at two months old? Harrison! <laughs> I'm just kidding, Harrison. I knew what you meant, dude. Hey, congrats, by the way. Little kids, man. Nothing like it, dude. Nothing like it. My, uh, my oldest is getting ready to turn 10 later this month, which is just insane. Like when I first started streaming, he was he was still a baby. 
Yeah, and then my, my second is five, about to be six later uh, in May. <laughs> it's crazy, man. No, I get what you meant. Hope the new job's going well. Another day in the office, but with the best streaming. Representing Portugal once again. Jay, I always forget how to pronounce your name. So I think we decided just to call you Jay, right? <laughs> Jay, welcome back. Appreciate you stopping by and saying hello from Portugal. Brandon, hopefully you'll get some good news from your job interview yesterday. Hey, let's hope so, dude. Good luck to you, man. Yes, Khaleesi, we were able to see just from where I live. We didn't even have to travel very far. We were able to see most of it. It wasn't like the full 100%, but it still looked incredible. Anybody else watch the eclipse yesterday? Hopefully with the proper eyewear. No, man, it was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. We had a lot of cloud cover where I live, but there were a couple moments where we, we were able to see it pretty clearly. I think it's like another 20 years before it'll happen again like that. Hey, glad to hear it, Eric, that you're looking forward to it. Ending of it's so good. Alicia, you're off work for another week. <laughs> Wait, why are you off for another week? Are you under the weather or is this just like, uh, are you guys closed down for a bit? Because I know some people do s schooling over here. Some some schools have what they call, they call it year-round schools. It's not truly year-round, but I think it's like you go nine weeks and you're off two weeks or something. Then you still get off like a month around the holidays and like a month in the summer. Is it something like that? That's right, Cloud Roth. Don't forget to like the video. Helps other people, uh, other people who are fans of the Wizarding World, find the stream, find the channel. And by the way, if you're new here, guys, if you're lurking, if you're just hanging out and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, doesn't cost you anything over here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, support the channel, help us reach our goal of, let's see, what are we at right now? We've kind of hit a little slow patch here. Yeah, 64,423. So it's definitely slowed down this year. Like, January, February, were really, really good months. We were growing pretty fast. And then March, April, it's kind of slowed down again. So if you're lurking right now and you're kind of on the fence, you're like, maybe I want to hang around, maybe I don't, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can chat, ask some questions, get a feel for the channel, get a feel for the community here. See if you want to hang around. I think you will. I think you will. But if you don't, hey, then you can just go and subscribe. It's all good, man. It's all good. Slow work day for Canter on. Hopefully it gives you some energy. We'll see. We will see. I've got pretty good energy today. I've been trying to get better sleep. Those of you who've been around for a while know, like my sleep, it's kind of a constant. I'm just a night owl, man. I'm a night owl. And when you have young kids, that's not compatible with being a night owl. It's, it's just not. Now, I hear once kids, like, hit that 10, 11 age, that's kind of when they start to shift their sleeping patterns a bit. I'm sure it's not all kids, but, like, like both my kids right now, they want to get up fairly early. I mean, I mean, like, 6.30, somewhere in there. Not super early, but definitely earlier than I would get up normally. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um... But yeah, I've heard like around 10, 11 is when that starts to shift. So I've just been waiting all these years. It's like, eh, might as well not even, uh, why should I try and become a morning person? It's not my chronotype. It's just not. But that being said, the first three days of this week, so Sunday, Monday, well, I guess, I guess I started on Saturday. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I've been trying to hit that like seven to eight hours mark. Which is really tough to hit. It's really tough to hit that seven, eight hours. So the first night, I think I hit eight hours. Then we hit seven and a half to eight. And then last night was probably closer to seven. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can I can keep it up. Hey, Noah, welcome in. Welcome in, Noah. Good to see you. 
follow the spiders. I know, I think we might be following the spiders today. I think. We should be. We should be getting ready to. Eric, good afternoon. Eric from the UK. Hey, appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. Also have Danelle, or I always say Danelle, but then I hear, I see you in James's chat, and James says Danielle. So I'm like, maybe I've been saying it wrong all this time. And Danelle slash Danielle is just too kind to correct me on it. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know, D Danielle. Let me know if uh, who if it's correct, Danielle or Danielle. A hey, Marin been here since pre Hogwarts Legacy. Wasn't a member thanks to a gifted sub on the last stream. A hey, let's go, Marin. Congratulations. We did have we had several gifted last stream. Appreciate all the support, Marin. All all those. Uh, it, it's officially been years at this point, guys. We can say all those years that you've been here. Mew Store in the house. Uh, Mew Store, welcome in, dude. King Tut, yes. Thank you so much for asking because it it was a rough patch, dude. There was a... He had like back-to-back -back strep throat. I, I mean, I've never seen this happen before. I had strep growing up as a kid. And, you know, you go, you get the antibiotic, you go home, you're good. He would like get better and then it came back so weird and my wife's a nurse so like we did all the you know sanitize the toothbrush the cups all, anything that's touching the mouth yeah we, we did all those things and then he and my wife got sick again I don't think I even told stream about this we we have no idea what that one was that was like a mild case of the flu or something but thankfully my youngest and I we <laughs> I don't know we eat our maybe we eat you know what they say? There's that saying about an apple a day. Probably, probably not true at all. But I mean, apples are apples are good for you. But yeah, my son and I, my youngest son, we love apples. We eat apples like a couple times a week. He he eats one every day, just about. But yeah, appreciate you asking, King Tut. Has he gained any expensive hobbies yet? Uh, I mean, Fortnite. But we were like a strict. You don't get V bucks unless it's Christmas or birthday, and that's how you want to spend your money. He also likes collecting Pokemon cards, but that's, honestly, that's not too expensive. It's like five bucks for a pack of cards, and usually he gets those from family. Like, honestly, we wouldn't have to buy our kids. We we live in a family that just, like, extending to both his grandparents, his great parent, great grandparents, his aunts and uncles, like, the, our kids have more. We are, we're very blessed. They have more than what they need. We could we could stop and not buy them anything else. <laughs> but yeah, his uh his big thing, he plays baseball right now, but that's not that's not too too expensive. Samantha, welcome back. Welcome in. Guys, if you're just dropping by, we do a little just chatting segment here in the beginning. Yes, we will get to the game. There it is. I promise it's locked. It's loaded into the PlayStation 3. Yes, it's backwards compatible with the PS1. We will get to it. But I'd just like to hang out with you guys a bit here in the beginning. Talk all things life, Wizarding World. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Cloud Rathio did a little party for it. Very nice. Got to see the full thing. That's awesome, dude. Cantor, I'm doing well. Or no, Samantha asked that. I'm doing well, Samantha. Hope you're doing well. Watched it on the NASA YouTube channel. Yeah, I saw that they were uh, streaming that yesterday. Yeah, I was trying to... I, I was like... I picked up a little basketball and a, a little stuffed animal of my son's. My youngest, I was trying to explain to him. So it's like, okay, here's Earth. Here's the sun. This is the moon. Because you tell... I mean, you tell a five-year-old, hey, it's going to be an eclipse. They're like, what? But no, I think my analogy worked. And then we went out and were able to he was able to see it. He thought it was pretty cool. Oh, you just had about 20% where you are, Jenny. King Tut, yeah, I would say I was probably pretty close to what you are. Definitely in that like 95 to 97% range. Unfortunately, it was pretty cloudy where I live, so we only got to see a little bit. Oh, two weeks off for Easter. Very nice. Wow, I'm way behind in the chat. 
Felicia's just now answering that. A couple of years and it'll happen in Australia. Very cool. Wasn't able to see it live, but on TV it was cool to see. 20, all oh, just 20% on Long Island. Gotcha. The last Nunu, welcome to the stream. It's going well, going well. On the tail end of your cold. Hey, I hope the worst is past. Linus. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Linus back with us. Linus is just like our own personal guide through the PS1 Harry Potter games. You got to help me remember chat. That's another part that we should get today is the the part with uh, Lockhart and the Cupids. Linus really wants us to get caught at least once. So don't let me forget. You guys know I get I get locked in. I get locked into what we're doing, our objective, and so it's possible I could forget. Don't let me forget. Finishing your basement today? Let's go, dude. We're getting ready. Hopefully later this month, if everything works out, we're going to get new floors on our entire... Our house is two stories. And the first floor, we're the second owners of this house. And the first floor, it's like... They had like laminate that looks like hardwood in one area. Then they had one kind of carpet in two rooms. Then another kind of carpet in the main living area. And then another kind of... uh or no, another um, laminates hardwood area in the kitchen. So it's just like all these um, different styles of flooring. I'm not sure why they, they did that. And then also the carpet is, is it's getting pretty old. So we're getting new floors. We're just we're getting the same thing all the way through on the lower level. So I can't wait for that. It's not cheap. It is not cheap, but it should look much, much better. But yeah, any as Christian gamer, I can relate, dude. Anytime you're doing those home renovations, it's always so nice to see them uh see them finally finished. Silver Legion, yes, yeah, Silver Legion, welcome in. That is that is a great tip. Putting the phone away, putting it on the opposite side of the room or in another room is definitely a good practice. I'm still waiting to see Danielle, a.k.a. Danielle's comment to tell me what is the correct pronunciation. I'm looking for it, Danielle. I'm looking. Dylan! Welcome in, Dylan. What's up, dude? Appreciate you stopping by, man. As always, you guys already know. Having three kids, you totally understand. You're a night owl as well. <clears throat> Danelle, okay, I have it right. Let's go. I gotta tell James. So you were too nice to t to correct James. Don't worry, I'll let him know. <laughs> nah, that's funny though. That's funny because yeah, sometimes I'll be hanging out in James's streams, aka Expecto Go, and I'll see you in there, and he says Danielle. I'm like, oh man, I've been saying it wrong. This whole time. This whole time we've been saying it wrong. Matt Ellison. Matt, welcome to the stream, dude. Getting Legacy this weekend. Finally just got a switch. We'll be wizarding everywhere. Let's go, dude. Hey, hope you enjoy the game, man. Like, it never fails. Anytime I post a Hogwarts Legacy video, people say, people are still playing this game. I'm just like... They've got to be they've got to be younger ones, right? They've got to be young kids from that generation who just like my son who think that you're just supposed to play the same game all the time and live in that world. I'm just like, what, what do you mean are people still playing this game? Like what do you mean? Yes, some people still are. Some people still play it because they love it that much. Some of us, like me, have, have moved on, but still like making videos about the game. And then some people, like our boy Matt here, are like, look, I'm just now getting around to it. I have other things in life, <laughs> right? <sighs> Best way to get better is to spread your sickness. Oh, man. Noah, you love cold apples? Hey, I love, uh... 
I like mine in the refrigerator as well. I, I, I think they're better cold. Just a little bit, like it gives them that little bit of extra crisp. All right, guys, we got about, let's see, one, two minutes, and then we're going to switch over to some gameplay here. If you're new, welcome in. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, what position? So his team, they kind of have to be... He plays a couple different positions. He, he pitches, he plays second base, he's done shortstop, he's done third base and outfield as well. And last, he even did, he's done a little bit of catcher. But yeah, I would say the two that he plays the most are third base and, and pitcher this year is where he's been the boat the most most time love the content watching half blood prince videos this week hey appreciate that i'm not sure if you mean the uh our gameplay of half blood prince or if you mean uh some different half blood prince videos but either way thank you for supporting the channel Gaming with Joseph. Welcome in, Joseph. Early for the stream? Right. You are early, my friend. We always do this little just chatting here in the beginning. Agnavarsta. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly or not, but welcome in. Oh, dude, you're eating good this morning, then. Chick-fil-A, that's like a, that's a top-tier breakfast, dude. Top. I love Chick-fil-A breakfast. I just don't eat breakfast a lot anymore. Took apart a PS2 yesterday that I bought and found out I had a mod chip installed. What? That's crazy. You can see the total solar eclipse in Spain in 2026. You saw one when you were nine? A, hey, very cool. The trolls have been coming out heavy on both yours and James' videos. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, man. Like, whenever I do those community posts, I feel like community posts hit a totally different, they they go to, like, I, I don't know. I don't know who all sees community posts. Hopefully, you guys see the community post. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to youtube.com slash retroreconteur, and there's a little tab where you can switch to community. But also, when you just go to your homepage, from time to time, you'll see little, uh, they're just like little, uh, it might be pictures, it might be polls, it might be a little quiz. I've been doing a couple of those. For some reason, those types of uh, posts reach a different audience. So we get a lot of, uh, not even, not haters, but just like, you can tell people who haven't watched the channel <laughs> very much. It's strange. Hostile is a good word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hostile. It's been long enough, you might have to revisit Hogwarts Legacy, right? See, Kinta, we're, we're reaching that point where it's time to kind of go back in. Undead Joe, how's it going? A Vang, welcome back. Just bought a copy of DH1 for 360, a new box set of the books. A, if you've never played Deathly Hallows Part 1, how do I put this? Um, It's not good. <laughs> I hope you already know that, Eric. I hope you know that. Prepare yourself. It's it's rough. Is it worth playing? Maybe. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I was going into that game with the full intention of getting the Platinum Trophy on it. And I think I may never do that. I may never do that. Maybe as a challenge. Oh, dude. You know what? That should be our 100k subscriber goal. That should be, if we ever, if we start getting close to 100k, man, I think that's going to be a good goal for 100 subscribers. I will do a live stream where I go back and I get the Platinums in DH1 and DH2. We need to make that happen. Hey, I got it right. Agnivars, let's go. You had no idea who Kenilworthy Wisp? Did you go and look it up then? Will you make a revisit video playing Hogwarts Legacy after the updates? Um elaborate. You mean the you mean the summer updates, Becky? I think 
I mean, we'll definitely have something out around Hogwarts Legacy around then. I think it just depends on what they, like, what they are exactly. Because of the fact that they've been saying that it's, um, small update. Like, I've just, I'm totally recalibrating my expectations, you know? Like, if it's a new cosmetic item, that's, yeah, we'll go in, we'll get it, we'll make a video about it, but replay through the whole game eh <laughs> I don't know anybody know who invented port keys or the port key spell I don't know you played it on Wii ages ago okay good good you know how bad it is all right nice all right guys well we are at the half hour mark which means it is time to switch over to some actual gameplay And I've had it fired up already, up and running here. So let's switch over. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to fix my I need to fix my webcam today before we before we dive in here fully. Look at that, kind of a crazy view, huh? So I want to get it just right. Oh wow, we've got more headroom than I thought. Now, see if I'm. Fix my chair first. All right, takes us up a little bit and then back down just a little bit. All right. Let's see. I think right. See, I don't want to get any blue. I want it to be the all, all black background. There we go. Oh, Joseph, I love Magic Awaken, dude. I wish more people had gotten into that game. I still play the dueling regularly. Like, my biggest issue is I just wish it was, um... I wish the dueling wasn't essentially pay to win, but everything else about that game is so good. It's... It's so good. It definitely deserves more love. Hey, Mac and Cheese, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. All right, guys. Let's note down the time here. First, take a big sip of water. Oh man, I gotta switch over the... Uh... I wish my computer monitor had a little remote so I could switch the input. Because <laughs> when I first start the stream, I have that monitor on my PC. Yeah, Undead Joe. It is a a little a little detail I'd forgotten too until it came time to play these games. All right, thirty three. So if you guys haven't seen any of the other episodes, we are getting pretty close to the end. I would say the last the last third of the game for sure. We still need to do Follow the Spiders. We still need to do the. Uh, I think they actually have a section with the Valentine's Day with Lockhart in this one. EA Games. Challenge everything. <clears throat> Makes you enjoy it less and less, Nico. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I do so much dueling that I don't know how much it affects the other parts of the game. Like, I feel like if you didn't care about dueling, I don't feel like it would bother me at all, but... <clears throat> like, it's definitely... I mean, it's definitely there, and it's obviously the primary monetization method. All right, 76% is where we're at here. People of the internet, Retro Reckons who are here, hello and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1. It is possible today could be our final episode, or we may have one more, depends on how long it goes today, but I, th from, from knowing the story of Chamber of Secrets, I think we're getting pretty close to the end, so hopefully they'll do a little recap here at the beginning, 
catching us up with where we are. Got to check that memory card first here. <laughs> the In this case, the internal memory card in the PlayStation 3. Returning to the girls oh yeah, here we go. I love this. Myrtle gave Harry the diary. Harry received a message from Professor Lockhart asking him to come immediately to his office for his defense against the dark arts lesson. All right. More games should do that. Like when you jump back in, have like just a little quick segment that tell you that that catch you up on where you were at in the story. All right, Harry. So we need to get to Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at our health, man. This is not good. All right. So we're supposed to go to Lockhart's lesson, which if I remember correctly, I think is actually Oh wait, that door is locked now. Well, Definitely don't remember that correctly, so we must need to go this way. Let's see if I can do it without you, Linus. Let's see if I can actually find the right location without any help from chat. And the, the game looks like a little bit darker today than normal. I'm not sure why. Okay, here we go. Guess what, Harry? Her man is in the hospital wing. The polys used potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Ooh. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. So is that how they're going to get the her uh, Hermione into the hospital wing for the game? Like, is she actually not even going to get petrified now? Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's right, Avang. If you have one of the very first PS3 fats, they called them, but I think it was only a certain gigabyte model. They were also backwards compatible with PS2, yeah. Then it's kind of like a cost-cutting thing. Sony took it out on most of the other ones. Those PS3s are pretty, uh, pretty valuable even today as a result of that. All right, so Lockhart, my man. Where in the world? Ah, Harry, there he is. Finally made it. Terrible news about young Mr. Creevy being petrified. Not to mention. Try time Mr. down under. Morris. Thank you for subscribing. Try, though, Appreciate that. Defense against the dark arts teacher. I'll save the day. Watch my expensive wand as it moves <laughs> and press the symbols it points to. My Do expensive wand. And you will learn Verdimilius. Oh, Verdimilius. Here we Are go. Yeah, we're ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, no. Bro, I've never seen it do that before. To, like, fake me out like that. That's a failing grade. Are you kidding me, Lockhart? Are you kidding me? Perfection! 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 Ooh. All right, thankfully that one didn't. Okay, much better. One more to go. Get ready. Perfection. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Splendid. All right, not bad, not bad. <laughs> right, the expensive wand? Excuse me. <gasps> Ooh, I don't even know if we got a A. We right at a B grade. You earned the possible grade. Well done. I'll take it, Gilderoy. Later, you can try for a better grade and earn a special prize. Time to put the spell you've learned to practical use. Yeah, we needed this one earlier. Hold down the X button to cast a fully charged Verdimilius duo spell. Once cast, the spell will show you objects hidden by dark magic. Use what you find to leave the yep, room. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Nintendo! Verdimilius! Is he not going to say it in this game? That That is a spell that I I keep meaning to look that up. I had never heard of it. I don't think it appears in any of the... <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that the continue screen is of him in the hospital wing. 
Remember back in the pre-release Hogwarts Legacy days where like, we were all like, what do you think will happen when you die in the game? You think you'll get sent to the hospital wing? Oh man, and it's like, nah, you just, you just respawn there. Ah, <laughs> uh, Harry, you Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're gonna get a better grade this time. See if we can get a better grade this time. Are you ready? Yeah. Splendid! Perfection! Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. Oh, still messed up that first one. Surely we did better than 33% though, right? Come on. What? 4% better? That's the easy one. Ready now? Actually, no. That is the hardest one by far. Splendid! Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lockhart. Hey, there we go. One more to go. Get ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Perfection. Yes. Splendid. Oh, we had a lot of sparkles on that one. That should be pretty high. Nice. Okay. Much better. Much better. A little bit better that time. You earned a passable grade. Well done. If you come back later, well you try to grade and earn a special prize. Miss Granger's done it. Time to put the spell you've learned to. Okay. I think the only reason we had to redo Once all that is spell? because we we were at super low health. So. <sighs> Oh, he did say at that time. Let's go. Vertimilius. Well, what I was saying before we just fell back there is that I don't know if this spell appears in any other Harry Potter video game. I certainly don't remember it. Oh, you've got to be that quick. All right. Fine then. See, like, I'm not even taking the time to turn the camera. No! <laughs> I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Let them go ahead and vanish. But Amelius. Bro! All right, I got I to gotta quit moving the camera like this. Oh, I didn't let it reset. I didn't let it reset. Let's just jump off right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, why is he gra- why can he not just jump on that one? Let's go, Harry. Big jump. Big jump. That was way harder than it should have been. I made that way harder than it should have been. All right. Oh, I can't attack these guys. You just have to be quick. I mean, it's definitely not worth going for this for one bean. I'm not doing it. Why is that there? I mean, I guess it's like if you want to try and uh, bypass Harry. the knights. I knew you would do it. I'll have to watch myself in a few years' time, or you'll be stealing my job. <laughs> now run along. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I have something Let's go. very special planned. Something special planned for Valentine's Day. For sure, Joseph. Yeah. Camera's always a struggle. Retro lad, welcome to the stream. Remember my grandfather getting me this game in the early 2000s? Great memories. An Xbox version of Chamber of Secrets. Nice. The race for the House Cup continues. Yeah, Undead Joe. All of them should be able to play. Uh, is this actually a PS3 Slim? But you should definitely be able to play PS1 games. Ravenclaw? 
Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Remember to get caught once. Right, right, right. Slithery. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. <laughs> you barely see him in the PS2 version? Yeah. I've played the PS2 version. Um, or I, I guess it's the GameCube version, but it's from that era. It's like, it's fairly similar to the PS2 version, whereas this one is totally different. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry. Oh, here we go. How many cards have you received? Hey, Cindy, so what's far, up? Oh, Hogwarts Mystery has it too. Hmm, but Crazy. Vermilius. For you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card-carrying cupids. Oh, you, Harry Potter. Stay <laughs> there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's card. This is not in the uh, keep away from PS2 me. GameCube one. I'm just gonna let him catch me straight away. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickle toad. His hair is as dark as a black fold. I wish she was mine. He was really <laughs> divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. I can't. Dude, that is incredible. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. That sh that goes to show you too, man, that they they totally understood. Like they had to be fans of the game or the the series. You don't put that in. I'm le I'm letting him catch me again. I got to <laughs> I mean, can canonically, we're supposed to, Harry's supposed to hear that. So, I appreciate the tip, Linus, and us getting caught because that was a uh, <laughs> that made it. That made it true to the canon right there. Dude, that is so funny. I need to go back and clip that. I'd even forgotten about that part in the books until my son was uh, reading Chamber of Secrets recently. And I was reading it with him. What is that? No what is going on in Hogwarts right now? Why is the floor vanishing? But yeah, on the reread with him, I was like, I completely forgot about this because obviously the movies don't even have that scene. Oh, jeez. There's only two of them now. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. <laughs> It's gonna be stuck in my head now. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. And it matches the exact lines from the book, too. Stephen Fry's version of it. So I've heard I've heard Jim Dale's. I haven't heard how Stephen Fry handles that. Props to the VA for this, right? Harry exactly, the Brandon. The exactly. Diary. Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first page. Oh, here we go. Excited, a diary. Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, My name is Harry Potter. Then at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle, and then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years Dude, ago, the chamber voice. was opened and a girl was killed. He sounds a lot I like her. Uh, the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused. For he sounds a, a lot like the guy who plays Tom in letters. that in the movie. Okay. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind. 
And then the diary seemed to open up, and Harry was pitched headfirst into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. Peering through a crack Whoa. made by an open door was a boy of about 16. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, the owner of the diary. Hey, then Dylan. Thank you, dude. Speaking in a Appreciate you clipping that. Come on. We gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rubeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. Rubeus. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. And then from out of the box came something that made Harry let out a long piercing scream unheard <laughs> by anyone. A vast, low slung, hey, every body and a oblong, of welcome. Paint, a gleam of many eyes and a pair of razor sharp pincers. The thing scuttled away, tearing up the corridor and out of sight. No! <laughs> the scene whirled, the darkness became complete, and Harry landed with a crash. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. What's up? It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Dude, think about this. There's people who probably never... Who never saw that little uh, scene with the... The Cupids because they Riddle just beat it first person. try. Maybe it was some other monster that was attacking people. Hagrid would never have meant to kill anybody. We've always known that Hagrid was expelled. The attacks must have stopped after he was kicked out. I'm going to the library to see if I can find information on Tom Riddle. And while I'm there, why don't both of you go and see Hagrid and ask him what happened? Ooh, here we go. This might be Fall of the Spiders time. We'd better be careful, Ron. We're not meant to be out in the grounds after dark. Let's split up to avoid getting caught. At least you can use your invisibility cloak to avoid being seen. Remember that you need to collect these to power up your cloak. Oh, you here we go. The cloak time, again. So make sure you're out of sight when they run out. You can unlock the doors by using these pressure pads. You just need to charm a nearby object onto them. Okay, the, you guys are asking about the Rubius Rubeus thing. That is another one. Similar to uh, Knut and Knut. In that nice one, Harry. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. Good luck. In that old school scholastic pronunciation guide that I always talk to you guys about. If you're a regular of the stream, you've heard me talk about this before. Um Man, the game volume is just a little bit loud. I'm turning it down on my end. <clears throat> um, in that, in that pronunciation guide, they actually pronounced it Rubeus. And so, I don't know when the change happened. Um, and actually, I'm trying to remember in the audiobook that Jim Dale does, if he says Rubeus or Rubeus. But yeah, there's a couple of weird pronunciation things regarding Harry Potter. Like, even J.K. Rowling says that Voldemort, it, it's supposed to be Voldemort, not Voldemort. But she says that she's now come to realize that she's the only one who still pronounces it that way. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, is that Filch? I think it is. Who's there? Uh, of course. I mean, you, you, I don't know how I knew it was him, but his little lantern... But he's just like a completely uh, just a blob. Come on. Yeah, there you go, Harry. All right, wait for him to leave this spot. Oh, shoot. Wingardium Leviosa. He was right there, too. Filch, you gonna investigate why that lock just randomly opened? 
Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright. Ready, set, go. Oh, no. Oh, we've got to climb now. This is actually kind of cool. Something I definitely wish Hogwarts Legacy had more of was, like, true stealth sections. Stealth missions. Okay, can we get... Hmm. I feel like one of these is going to lead to a secret. Ah, can't make that jump. Let's see, can I go back and grab this? Oh, we can. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is as black as a blackboard. <laughs> What's the next line? Something, something, something. Something about mine. He's really divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. Leviosa. Come on. Come on. Gab and Yasin or ya Yasin? Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that too badly. Welcome in. Appreciate you stopping by. <clears throat> Shame this was the last game for PS1 graphics. Right. This is the last the last PS1 game. Hey, sounds good, Jenny. Hogwarts Legacy, why I started watching Retro's rendition of the songs is why I stayed. Let's go. All right, I was looking at chat. I wasn't paying attention to the door or what happened to unlock here. Maybe now we go up there somewhere? Come on, why are you not climbing? There we go. Have you ever had to ban someone? Oh yeah, we've had to ban people before. <laughs> yeah, King Tut, like back in the, uh, back when Hogwarts Legacy like, came out, we would have, <gasps> okay, wait a second. Every now and then we'll get some trolls. I feel like we've had to ban way more on Twitch though than on YouTube, just to be honest. Who's there? No way you see me. <gasps> Mr. Potter. Bro, I blame the, the school rules again. That was the cutscene, man. Why did it do that? It triggered that and then just completely carried me over. <clears throat> I don't even know where I'm supposed to go right here. Oh, it puts me all the way back here? No way. That was Snape right there. Yeah, now Snape. <laughs> Now Snape's out here watching. <laughs> Dylan, you hate having to ban people. <gasps> yeah, I mean, I don't think it's happened in a while, though. On YouTube, it works a little different, too. It's not, it's not like, truly... Instead of it being called a ban, it's like hide user. So essentially, they can still post and comment as much as they want. Just nobody else sees it. It's actually the greatest ban system ever. Because it's just like they're, they're left shouting into a void. At least that's how it works on comments for videos. I don't know how it works on live streams, though. Like if they can comment and they themselves see the comment, but just no one else does. It's actually hilarious if that's how it works. <laughs> a 
Like, the rest of this stream, I hope you guys know, I'm just gonna randomly break into song. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is as dark as a blackboard. Something about mine, he's really divine. The hero who conquered. Who's there? McGonagall, no way you see me up here. That's right, I was about to say, man. No way McGonagall sees me up here. Why is, like, the whole staff out tonight? Come on. Come on! Cupid song jump scares. I wish he was mine. He's really divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. They even got the voices right, because they weren't supposed to be, like, great. They were supposed to be, like, kind of gruff. <laughs> Wait, is she still out here? Why can I not move the camera? Oh, she is, dude. She is. Minerva. All right, boom. We out, we out, we out. And then where was the door? Oh wait, it didn't unlock. I think we messed up. I think we missed it. Oh, right there. It was blending in. I couldn't even see it. What's that song about? Oh, Gab. <laughs> if you guys just uh, jumped into the stream, then you missed. You can you can use uh, on YouTube. You can actually rewind. So if you want to rewind about, I don't know. 15, 20 minutes, you want to get to a section where we run into some cupids. And it's it's a pretty funny moment, if you guys remember from uh, Chamber of Secrets. A scene that didn't appear in the movie, but is in the books, is when Gilderoy Lockhart orders all of these uh, cupids for Valentine's Day. And we assume that it's uh, sent by Ginny. A little uh, group of singing cupids who stop Harry and sing to him. It is a canon thing that happens in the books, and they actually found a way See to incorporate it into the game the too. Now, I know you're there. Oh, now we got both of them over here. All right, so we've got a path over there. We've got the cloak over here. I don't know which way we're supposed to go. All right, let's just go hide over here. For, see what's over here first. Oh, okay. We we chose correctly. There we go. Am I a Final Fantasy fan? Um, I mean, I wouldn't feel right calling myself a fan. I don't, I don't dislike them by any means. I just, I haven't played a ton of them. Of course, I played seven growing up, and then I played, I really love nine. The little uh, mage guy, Vivi, was my favorite. <laughs> I love the little mage. But yeah, I never, I haven't played, I don't think I've played any of the other ones, actually. So it's it's like yeah, it's not something I dislike. It's just not something I've ever been super super into. And I think I played I played like a demo of uh eight. All right, so we got McGonagall again. Let's grab the cloak. Okay, wait though. What's okay? Nothing over there. Oh, jeez, they're all up. Just keep going. It's wearing off. This pressure Ooh. pad has a different image on it, and there are no objects to charm. I don't know, Harry. I think those look like two feet to me. <laughs> Still confused why I'm... Yeah, what is McGonagall doing? Oh no, I wasn't. See, I keep looking at the chat. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Dear, dear, oh, shoot. Well, 
That ruined that anyway. <laughs> the accents of the characters, yeah. Should play Final Fantasy, what is that, 15? Nine's your favorite one of all time, Retro Lad? Let's go. That's one of the two that I have played extensively. Remake. Oh, and I take that. I did play a little bit of uh, Remake as well. Not the, the newest one to come out, but the one that came out a few years ago. I, I own it. I need to get back to it. Oh, shoot. They're over. No students are allowed in the grounds after dark. You can't even see Filch at all. He's just, like, completely blacked out. Like, Snape, you can kind of make out. McGonagall. What? Even you aren't. Is it lowering my health every time I get caught right here? <laughs> oh, interesting, Dylan. So accounts banned or in timeout cannot send a message. Gotcha. Because from what I understand, they can still comment on posts, but just they're the only ones who see it. Unless YouTube has changed it, which is always, always possible. No, dear, no, dear Mr. Potter. <sighs> Dude, we were right there. I just didn't know which way to. Mr. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's lowering my health, so we can get caught as much as we want. Like, why does it have him? Sometimes he's just like right here. Yeah, there he is. All right, let's wait. Don't turn around. All right, let's wait here for a bit. I don't think we need to go over there anymore at all because that's where we hit the switch and it should already be activated, I think. Yeah, Snape, you need to go on that way. No. Okay, yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Grab the cloak. Walk right in front of Filch. There's the door. And how do they just keep appearing? They, <laughs> they're just like, oh, now they're up here. Oh, shoot. Come on. All right, we got it. Oh no. Oh no, it's about to wear off. <sighs> okay, step on this again. I'm gonna watch carefully. Ooh, okay, so there's a little... Alright, got it. But we know Snape's right there. Like, you should never make something timed. What, bro? That's impossible. You have to wait. I think you have to wait for him to be, yeah, yeah. Let's go now. And then hopefully he stays out of the path just long enough. Because this is a quick. Please don't. Yes, let's go. All that to get to Hagrid's. You made it in our... <laughs> hey, so Magica, welcome Hagrid. in. Yet again, Cornelius, I tell you that taking Hagrid away will not help in the slightest. That must be Cornelius Fudge. Dylan, you put your it. second account in timeout. Boss. Quiet, Ron. Look at it from my point of view, Albus. I'm under a lot of pressure. Got to be seen to be doing something. If it turns okay, out, okay, that does not sound like happen, fudge, but he'll be back and no more said. So, where am I going? You'll only be going. Hey, hey DBDH, welcome in. It's not a punishment, more a precaution. If someone else is caught, you'll be let out with a full apology. Not Azkaban. Come along now, Hagrid. 
If anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's all I'm saying. Ron, look at all the spiders. Hmm. I'm going to follow them. All right, be careful, Harry. It is time. Go and tell Hermione what we've heard. It is time. Wait, Ron's leaving me for this? Okay, yeah, so they, they did change up how... So at least at this point, Hermione has not been petrified at all. She actually is in the hospital wing as a result of the failed Hagrid's polyjuice. Hagrid said to follow the spiders. Hagrid said to follow the spiders. Dude, we have no health as well. Not a good time for no health. Flipendo! Flipendo! I love the music already. Uh, never played Days Gone, but The Last of Us Part 1 is my favorite game of all time, actually. <laughs> so, big, big yes to that one. Who the heck's laughing like that? Excuse me? Who laughs like that? No way that's Aragog. Please, please tell me that's not Aragog. Oh yeah, I was gonna say earlier, so... In the first game, Lumos was kind of like a, oh my goodness. No arachnophobia mode here, ladies and gentlemen. I do see some chocolate frogs. Get away! Oh, you have to wait for it to... Bro, they have so much health. Whew. <laughs> Alright, thankfully, we got a chocolate frog here. Chocolate frog here. But yeah, in the, in the first game, Lumos was kind of more like a... It would reveal... It would reveal, like, those hidden walls. Hidden doorways. And I think it even revealed platforms. I'm almost positive it did. So they kind of changed that up and made it Vertimilius instead. Which is interesting because I know J.K. Rowling had to approve all the spells. She gave them the spells for the first game. So I'm like, I wonder if they just modified its use a little bit. Probably so. Oh, wait, wait for the... Man, all right, I'm going to focus on you. No. Yeah, this one. Dude, for the PS1 era, the spiders actually look pretty creepy. <laughs> Do they not? Uh, I played the GameCube version, yeah, of Ch of Chamber, which is in my top two Potter games of all time. It's like it's up there with Half Blood Prince. I still don't know which one's my favorite. Once we finally finish all the games, we're gonna do just like a massive video, actually probably a live stream, a tier list. Ranking all the Potter games. Yes, give me the potion. This is going to be a full health. Very nice. It sounded like a troll. Yeah, maybe it was a troll laughing. Why did he say Flipendo so fast? He has a couple different ways that he says it. Um, in the first game on PC. But in this one, I think it's always... Uh, I think he always says it fast like that. No, Yasin, I, uh, I've not played that one on the channel. I played that long before I started, uh... Honestly, the channel right now is kind of, uh... 
we kind of stick to Wizarding World stuff. That may not always be the case. I mean, we have some things on the channel that aren't aren't Wizarding World. But yeah, I mean, if enough people wanted to see other games, we might we might delve into it again at some point. Spiders are scarier than the Hogwarts Legacy ones. <laughs> I can see it. Now we got Crow. Oh, and he also only says Flipendo if you do a full charge. Flipendo! Flipendo! Linus also said there's a card in the forest, so... Oh no. That's why I'm being a little bit more... What in the world? Oh, it's a wa <laughs> It's a waterfall. Stand I thought my game is glitching for a second. On the waterfall and you shall see the light. Let's read that again. Stand where I point. Look upon the waterfall, and you shall see the light. Stand where I point. I do. Oh, a Vertimilius. Okay, let's go up here. Joe Mac in the house. Uh, Joe, what's up, dude? Welcome. Wow. Okay, we just. What's up with these platforms vanishing so quickly? Don't they understand I'm trying to interact with you guys in the chat? Hey, B-Mill, have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. Game Boy Advance version? Yeah, I haven't played any of the handhelds, so... Those are those are coming soon. After we finish this one, we're gonna do like a probably a members only community poll to figure out which game we're gonna play next. Come on. There you go. Oh here we go. Pretty cool little uh, mechanic there to fight the spiders. Just like a little timing. Having to dodge the venom, what, whatever they're spewing at me. Add Fable to the to playlist. Yeah, I've never played Fable. I've heard I've heard many good things, obviously. Many good things about the Fable series. Whoa, what is going? Wait, we have to go all the way back here? Trisha with the 13 months. Uh, Trisha, thank you so much for being a channel member for 13 months. Appreciate the support. Not sure why it didn't pop up on stream there. Maybe we'll get the alert here in a second. I think I finally fixed all the alerts for both the... Excuse me! Because uh, Savage Khaleesi last, last stream did a donation that didn't pop up on stream. I did get it. It showed up in the uh, stream elements that I was looking at after the stream. But I think I figured out why. And then Alicia had given one the week before. So thank you guys for the, those donations. I think I fixed that. But yeah, I'm not sure why the... Uh, why that alert didn't pop up. Wait, what is... Oh my gosh, I did it again. Alright, I'm not... Sorry, chat. I'm just... I'm not going to look at you for a moment. I'm not going to look at you because every time I get to that spot, I forget what's going on.
I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't do it. Shh. Quiet. Quiet. Okay, we're good. Now I can talk. <laughs> now I can talk. Joe, how's the, uh... How's the Dragon Age going? Have you beat it yet? Wait, so that's not like a hidden door right there? Oh, but it is. All right, another spider down. <laughs> JZT, what spell is he using on the spiders there? Just an old Fulpindo, and there's the wizard Albus card, Stumbledore. ladies and gentlemen. Albus Stumbledore himself. The Dragon Age. The age of the dragons. It's aging fine. <laughs> Whoa, was it just me or did I hear like Song of Storms for just, just a second in there? There was a note that sounded just like Song of Storms. Do -do -do, do -do -do. All right, so let's go back out. His eyes are always green as a fresh pickled toad. <laughs> I just love the idea of doing that the rest of the stream, and that way new people who are just like, who are just dropping by, who weren't here for that part, like Joe Mack, are going to be like, what? what was that? Is he okay? Do we need... <laughs> Do we need to send help? Just just rewind the stream or, or go back later, watch it in the VOD. Watch the part with the cupids. You'll get it. Okay. They're not gonna I'm not gonna fall for this. No no no. I'm not gonna go yet. I need to do this one first. This one second. Yeah, see look, that one already vanished. They're not gonna get me this time. Okay, run here. Oh, and it, yep, yep, yep. Okay, thank you for actually putting me right here, though. So we have to do that one. Is there enough time? <gasps> he didn't do the right spell, Harry. <laughs> what? Okay, so maybe we do have to do this one first. I'm gonna try it again. I feel like you need to hit that one first. There you go, Harry. All right. Whew. You just accept the madness. Oh, goodness. Oh, for the light. JZT. It's called Vertimilius. A video game only spell. For uh, It appears in this game. It appears in the PS1 version of Sorcerer's Stone. And according to Cindy earlier, it also appears in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Verdemilius is how he says it at, at points. There's that laugh again. Bro. No way that's a laughing Aragog. No way, right? Yeah, JZT here. It's not just you. I had never heard of that because I'd never played the PS1 versions of the game. It's strange to me that they only put it in the PS1 versions. It's like, did they just go rogue and make up their own spell that they weren't supposed to use? Or, 
don't know. It's interesting. No. Oh my gosh. This camera. <laughs> is so bizarre. Okay, we can't make the jump all the way, so we just need to do a little jump and then go all the way. Man, they're getting all sneaky on us. I could really, speaking of Lumos though, I could really use that right about now. Is that a spider? Oh, dude, it, maybe it was. Somebody earlier said it sounded like a troll laughing. I think you were right. Oh no, that's a dead end. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is as black or dark. Is it dark? His hair is as black as a blackboard. I wish he was mine. He's really divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. They better not do that creepy laugh while I'm in here. Not while we're in here, trolls. No, 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 no. Oh, please. Please don't turn this way. No. Go, Harry, go. Dude, that troll had long hair. What? We've got different character models for trolls in this game. Crazy. Is this a dead end? Yeah, it is. Alright. Maybe we just are supposed to hang out here. Hey, Professor Spells, welcome to the stream. Abigail! Don't worry. You're just in time. Just in time for us to meet Mr. Aragog himself. I don't like getting this close, to be honest. Yep, I don't think we're supposed to get that close. Oh my goodness, Martin right there? Gifting out 10 memberships? Martin, what is up, dude? Welcome in, and thank you so much for gifting out those 10 memberships. Guys, if you got one of those gifted memberships right there, make sure you thank Martin. Now you have access to all of our... No way. No way. Let me just run, please. Let me just run. Do not end it! Oh, that's garbage. That is garbage right there, man. Oh. So yeah, if you see your name popping up here, then you got one of those gifted from Martin. John Bovey, let's go. And you get access to our emotes. You also get access to a once a month we do. I didn't even move, but okay. Uh, once a month you'll get access to a members only video. And then we do a couple of members only uh, community posts from time to time. Special role in the Discord as well. But yeah, keep an eye on the community page this week because we are definitely going to uh, make a post asking for your guys' input on what we should play next. What we should play next week for Triwizard Tuesday because I'm hoping to finish this game up today. How are you? Welcome to Gryffindor. The troll doesn't eat you. Dude. I just can't get over that we have trolls with long hair wandering around. Okay, I know what we're supposed to do now. We've got to follow this guy and then go hide in that little spot. Right here. Oh, 
wait for it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Dylan's got clips of our first moment meeting the Cupids. Okay. Which way are you going? No, 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 no. Please don't see me back here. Yes, he turned around. Nice. I'm making a break for it. That was risky. That was risky, but it totally worked. Let's go. Flipendo. Flipendo. Flipendo, man. The most OP spell of all time in the old school. Had a potter. <clears throat> Why can't Harry talk to Aragog? Or why can Harry talk to Aragog? I, I think Aragog is just like a special type of spider. <laughs> Lego HP is confusing. Keep switching between characters. Yeah, you'll play a lot of different... What is that face, dude? That's why I came. In trouble. PS1 Aragog, but ladies and gentlemen. Why has he sent you? They've taken him to Azkaban. They think he set a monster on students. Oh, <laughs> dude, his face. I come from a distant land. <laughs> a traveler gave me to Hagrid when I was an egg. He cared for me, kept me in a cupboard. And fed he almost looks like a monkey. The face of a monkey. For the death of the girl, Hagrid protected me. Now, I live in the forest. So do you know what did kill her? The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we <laughs> spiders fear above all others. We don't speak. It's name. Okay. I'll, I'll just, just go, go then. Go. I <laughs> think not. I cannot deny them fresh meat. My children do not harm Hagrid on my command. But I cannot deny them fresh meat. Okay, wait. Is this just a survival thing? Okay, what are some things we can... Because we've got a... Is that a timer down there? Or is that a health meter? Oh, they're they're not even doing the thing where they... There he goes. Nice. Oh, he just keeps sending more. We can also lock on to the... To the tree right there. The branch. Wait, I think maybe we need to knock down all of the spider webs to get him to fall in. Why can I not lock on? The lock on is really strange right now. All right, there we go. Whoa! Dude, I was not expecting that. That was creepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna leave that spot. What the heck, man? I don't know what that what the meter is supposed to be at the bottom. That was creepy, you guys. Like now it's now it's yellow. Oh wait. Okay, is that actually doing I think that's actually doing something right there. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, I knew it. Okay. So each branch has its own health bar. What in the world? All right, get ready, man. He's about to lunge again. Oh, I'm ready for you this time. Oh, that's creepy. He even has like a shriek as he does it. Oh. 
Let's go. What? He should be dead. Okay, now what are we supposed to... Yes, he's sending more spiders. There we go. Woo. Oh, no. We gotta go down in there? What? I'm not even afraid of spiders like like some people are, but man, that is creepy. Wait, why can't we not get those, uh... Oh, we can't get the jelly bean? The, the birdie bot beans? Sheesh. Stuff of nightmares right there, chat. Oh, we don't get an escape sequence in this one? The no car way. The screeched to a halt, and Harry dived inside. Hurry up, Ron! The door slammed shut, and Ron didn't need to touch the accelerator because the car was already speeding away. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path it obviously Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> After ten noisy, rocky minutes, the trees thinned and the car stopped so suddenly they were nearly thrown through the windscreen. They had reached the edge of the forest. Harry and Ron arrived safely back in the Gryffindor common room. What was the point of going in there? <laughs> what have we found out? I'd like to know <laughs> that Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. He was innocent. All that just to find out he was innocent. <laughs> oh, dang. Hey, Joe, have a good one, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Final hey, act incoming? Ron, Let's go. I'm sorry, but this will be a bit of a shock. There has been another attack. So they do have Hermione. Oh, no. Who? I am very sorry, but your friend, Miss Granger, was found petrified near the library. I have asked all students to remain in their house common rooms. I also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry to tell you that your sister, Ginny, <laughs> has gone missing. The suspicion is that she has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh no! What are we going to do? Aragog mentioned that the last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a girl was found dead in the bathroom. What if she never left that bathroom? Shadow guided. Welcome in. Welcome in. Moaning Myrtle! Go to the girls' bathroom, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. Lockhart? Why? He's the defense against the dark arts teacher, and whatever's attacking people is definitely involved in the dark arts. Oh, come on, Harry. Okay, I'll meet you in the girls' bathroom. Haven't you bathroom. figured it out by now? Ginny will be all right, won't she, Harry? Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue her. And then I'll close the Chamber of Secrets for good. Dude, this has been a really solid game. This has been a really solid game. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like, for the PS1 era, if I had played this back in the day, dude, I would have loved this. I didn't play this one, though. I played the uh, the GameCube version, which I, I love that one, too. But this one, I gotta say, man, like, the sacrificing graphics for the lack of... You still do have some loading screens, but they're not nearly what they are on the GameCube PS2 one. It's almost kind of worth the sacrifice in some ways. Finish writing your eighth book? Dude, that's incredible. Let's go. Is there anywhere people can uh, buy them shadow guided? Or is it like just, just for yourself? Just for a, just a personal thing? I mean, writing, uh, completing any book is, is an accomplishment. Even if you never sell it to anybody. But have you ever thought about like self-publishing or, or going through like a real publisher? They seem almost absent compared to POA on PS2. Yeah. PS2, I feel like that one had, like, see this loading screen right here. Let's see. That's about two, three, four. I mean, maybe it's faster because I'm playing it on the PS3. Maybe it's faster than it would originally be. Strange. I don't know. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around. All right. I'm assuming we have to go this way then. The Defense Against the Dark Arts storeroom. 
What? Excuse me? Oh. Man, so when there's an opening, you gotta go. No way it launches you back to the beginning? Okay, so it's gonna... So we go straight, then right. And back to the left, and then we're good. Oh no, I didn't mean to go in right there. Okay, right here, then we're gonna head... No! Does it change? Okay, it opens up there. What? It didn't work that last time. You also get an opening over there on the left, but I don't think that one's worth taking. Yeah, you can't get through on that one. Okay, it worked that time, so I'm just gonna wait for it to come around again. Hey, appreciate it, Joe. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, here we go. Yes. Let's get out of here. That was nuts. Oh no, of course. Oh, this one's faster. All right, so let's... Oh, I see it already, right? We're gonna have to go... This path. Yep, then get out there in the... M Maybe not. <laughs> Definitely this path. Oh man, you've got to be quick on that one. I didn't mean to run back in so fast. Oh. No, this way. I wanted to go right. Lockhart killed me with his... Uh, I don't even know what you would call these things. Back to the hospital wing we go. Chambers, your favorite movie? Yeah. I, c I could see that. With that explanation there. Alright, so we have to do all of them again. So. Oh, come on. They are very particular about making sure that you are standing right on the platform. All right. Got to be super quick on this one. And ready, go. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, my goodness, dude. It pulled me back in. Ah. That last one, you have to be able to make it through two. See, right here, we gotta go there. Oh, jeez. Have to go diagonally instead of just straight over. 
Or instead of like going to the right and then up. Could definitely use some health right here. Nintendo! Nintendo! What? Let's just run past these guys. I don't think we actually have to fight them. Fantasy series about magic and powers, family and friends, love and loss. Following a hero to be named Elias or Elias Hawthorne. He learns he isn't alone, but the family can be a double-edged sword. Ooh. Interesting. And are you gonna are you gonna have it like uh, on available online or something somewhere? Shadow guided? Maybe you uh, wrote that already, and I just I missed it. Vadimilius. Hey, Elwin. Long time no see, Elwin. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Somebody said go down first. There's something I'm supposed to do down here. Go to the door downstairs. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to go in there. At least not yet. Vertimilius! That's right, Harry's got those crazy jumping skills in this game. Just make it all the way across. Elwin, what have you been up to? How's life? Nintendo. Nintendo. Okay, just run by you. Use lever. Okay, I bet that's gonna unlock the door. Now we've gotta go face whatever's behind there. I knew it. I'm gonna guess more trolls. More trolls is my prediction. Why can I not lock on to you when I want to lock on to you? Yeah, I don't think you can actually do anything with those guys. Anton! Welcome to the stream. You moved? No way! Yeah, moving can be... Moving can be very stressful. Did you move like far, like to a completely different area, or just, just like in your same same area? My wife and I moved like across town about ten years ago, and even that is stressful enough. But yeah, if you're moving like different states or different countries, even that's really tough. Why is there a Why is there a cat? <gasps> is the cat what's making that? No way, right? Huh. Alright, don't tell me, Chad. I'm not gonna look. Nintendo. We must figure this out on our own. Okay, so... We walked through this door. There's a growling cat. We know this is definitely where we have to be because... Alright, I'm gonna look for, like, secret passages. I mean, and I can't, I can't lock on to the cat. Are we supposed to, like, pet the cat or something? <laughs> Lead me! Maybe we're supposed to go back in here with the cat. Oh. Are you gonna follow me? Oh, it didn't follow me. I'm not looking yet, chat. I'm not looking. I know you guys are already posting the answer. Okay, we have we have lots of growling. The cat isn't harming me in any way. And the only thing in here are two torches. I can't, I'm trying to, let's just see if we can lock on. I can't lock on to anything. Dude, 
Dude, I am stumped. To go back out. Okay, let me read what the sign says. Warning, keep out. Dangerous creatures inside. Is it just supposed to be a joke? Oh man, of course. It was only beans. <laughs> no way! Wait, so this whole little area was just for that? Kind of like a little Easter egg? Well then where are we supposed to go? Because... Maybe there was a branching path and I'm... I don't remember uh... Oh I see Elwyn. Now this door is locked. Elwyn, I love the peace and quiet where I was. So far from civilization. Oh, man. Now you're a lot closer, huh? Nintendo. All right, I'm just going to drop down here. Yeah, I do. I remember that, Linus, from the first game. Oh, wait. Here he is, dude. Here he is. Can I go in here first? See what's in your little treasure chest, Lockhart. Mr. Potter, I I'm rather busy. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Professor, I have some information for you. I think Moaning Myrtle was the girl who was killed by the monster 50 years ago. She may know where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. Peter, welcome in, by the way. Ah, uh, well, okay, if you're sure. If you're sure. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Peter, did you, uh, were you able to figure out the sound? Oh, it's you. What do you want? To ask you how you do Whoa, died. what's going on with those glasses? Oh, it was dreadful. <laughs> it happened right in here. I died in this very bathroom. I remember it so well. I was I sitting in the U bin thinking about Olive death. Bondi was teasing me about my glasses. I hid in a cubicle and started crying. Then I heard a boy come in. He said something funny, a different language. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, what? Where'd the voice acting go? How? <laughs> no idea. I think that I was a glitch or something? Seeing a pair of great big eyes, and my whole body seized up, and I was floating away. Where did you see the eyes? By the sinks. I mean, of all the ways to die in the wizarding Look, world, the taps are turning into snakes. Try saying something in parcel tongue. Death by basilisk? Okay. I'll try. By a basilisk Open. stare? I mean, not the worst way to go, to be honest. I mean, I'd, I'd much rather it be like that than oh, actually no, having it bite well, you, you know? It looks like you boys don't need me. So you just see it off. and then instantly, we'll be right boom. Behind you, Harry. You're gone. Won't we, Professor? Oh, dear. <clears throat> they forgot to dub that part. Yeah, that was that was bizarre. Oh, I love Magic Awakened. Uh, I'm just gonna call you W, so I don't mispronounce your name there. But yeah, we've got. Oh my goodness! Press the X button to slide faster. We've got several Magic Awakened videos on available on the channel. And a couple of uh, old live streams where we've been playing it. I still play it pretty regularly. I just don't, uh, I don't really stream it much. But yeah, I actually really enjoy the game.
Dude. It's like another Mario Kart section. <laughs> As we descend into the chamber. Enemies of the air, beware! Oh, dude, I think we were actually at the end. No way, we were at the end! Oh great, it's gonna restart us now because we, we lost all our health. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, so there there's plenty of uh videos you can you can go through the archive and find. I think I even have a playlist set up for Magic Awaken. Nathan, welcome back in, Nathan. Right. <laughs> Right, Noah, we can't forget that, that time limit. If we don't descend into the chamber in this amount of time. I mean, I guess technically if he didn't make it... Why am I not, why am I failing at that part all of a sudden? If he didn't make it in time, Ginny would have been, been dead. I think we're getting worse somehow. It's just because I'm frustrated now. I'm annoyed because we were right there. And it's so dark. Sometimes I can't even tell if I'm heading the right way or not. Sheesh. No, slow down a bit. No, not like this. That's where we died the other time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was crazy. Cheyenne, welcome back. Good to see you. Guys, if you're here hanging out right now, you are here in time for the grand finale of Chamber of Secrets on the PS1. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed to the stream, consider subscribing to the channel here for all things Wizarding World. Oh, welcome, Harry. Here you are at last. Careful, Bro. Harry. I think he's lost it. Lost it? Moi? No, 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 no. <laughs> what is up with that voice? Not the great Gilderoy Lockhart. It's just that now is the time to end this little adventure. Hey, just a name. See? I shall go back to the school. Marcus, welcome in, guys. Girl, and that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Oh, no. I know what he's going to do. He's going to try and hit us with one of his memory charms. Yes, indeed. The famous Lockhart memory charm. I'm <laughs> sorry, boys, but it is for the best. Oh. There's actually a Lockhart boss battle? No way! Something I never expected to see. Yeah. Nice, big damage. No, no. That's actually kind of cool, though. If you get hit by the Obliviate, it's an instant. It instantly ends. I mean, Ron did warn us. <laughs> Watch out for the memory charm. Almost got him. Don't get hit by it now. Ooh, big hit, big hit, big hit. Let's go. 
Lockhart boss fight, not something that I can say I saw coming, to be honest. But I love that this game is just so... Ron, what's the word for are it? You okay? Ron, Quirky in yes, some ways? Like it has just some Lockhart little... He got blasted by his own memory charm. What are we going to do now? Like the Cupid well, we thing. We can't get through dude. this lot. It will take it's ages. So funny. There's only one thing to do. You wait here and I'll go on. Ginny's been down here for hours, and if we waste any more time, it might be too late. Okay, Harry. I'll start trying to shift some of this rock so you can get back through. Hey, Brandon. Thank you for being here, dude. Have a good rest of your day. All right, let us go. Let us go and face the basilisk. She won't wake. Are you, are you Tom Riddle? Oh, dude, he's still down here talking. What? Why are these guys in here? Incendio! <laughs> Incendio, a couple slugs on our way to fight the basilisk here. Excuse me. Incendio! Nintendo! Yeah, gotta get those house points. Oh, jeez. I saw we were locking on to something. I just couldn't see what. This is like Dark Souls, man. Going through the sewers, having to face all the rats. Where's he at, dude? Where's he at? Show yourself, Tom. Okay. We've got a couple doorways. I'm guessing we're going to have to... Pull some levers. The dark hall. Oh, great. They're never going to let you finish a game without having to fight these guys. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> He's about to defeat me. Okay, that's not doing any damage. Got to do the full charge, all right? No, we need to win Guardium. Excuse me? Are we supposed to flipendo it all the way over to the... Dude, what is happening? Nintendo. Why is it not letting me? Nintendo. It's not letting me use Wingardium, and it's not... Nintendo. What is going on, guys? I mean, we know what we have to do. What is happening? Nintendo. What? What just happened? It would help if I could actually see. I mean, I guess, are we supposed to drop through here? Like, I can't see anything. Alright, I'm just dropping in. 
Okay, good. Now I'm, I'm gonna need some health, please. Oh, the old school Verdamilius. Hey, have a good one. Yasin, appreciate you hanging out for a bit. Oh, come on. I, I timed that perfectly to where you would be right here on this. Well, isn't this interesting? Oh, I have no idea what triggered it right there, but... <laughs> we need some health. Bad, bad, bad. We need health. Let's see here. Oh, I see Vertimilius now. Man, I don't know if it's it's if it's the PS1 or if it's just like monitor settings or what, but it is so dark on my on my screen. Some of this is so hard to see. I was not expecting this like extensive of a sequence down here. I thought we would get into the chamber, fight the basilisk, and that would be it, but nope. Come on, there's gotta be a potion here before we get to the basilisk. <laughs> you were right, just the name. It is indeed called the Dark Hall. Okay, wait, but did that actually do anything? Okay, yes, it raised that platform right there. Very nice. All right, now this one, the Lost Tunnel. That's where we came from. And so then on the right side, we've got the Forgotten Cavern. And is that it over here? Oh, yes, there's a potion here. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We needed that big time. All right, let's go ahead and do this side, the Forgotten Cavern. All right, we need to try not to lose health. Nice. Got the rat, or the first rat anyway. No! Nice, okay. Wingardium Leviosa! Did it work? Partially. Wingardium Leviosa! I think it's working. Wingardium Leviosa! Just taking a couple hits. Yep, it's breaking away. Wingardium Leviosa! Wait, is it... Is it not? Oh, it's coming back! Okay, so we must need to lift Wing it up higher? Wingardium Leviosa! Alright. Oh, come on. Wingardium Leviosa! Wow. 
What? Wingardium Leviosa! Okay, let's watch this. Yeah, it looks like half of it's gone and then it starts to come back. Only one stone will work? I don't know what you mean by that. Wingardium Leviosa! Like, is there one of them that will not get all the way through? Like that? There we go. That was strange. <laughs> oh, no. There's trolls in the Chamber of Secrets? Are you kidding me? Trolls patrolling in the chamber. Something I never thought I would see. I've said that a couple times throughout this playthrough. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That's so funny, though. Like, they've just been down here chilling with the basilisk all this time. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, you're gonna see me right there. Alright, so there's no cloak. Dude, I don't know which way to go, honestly. No, then he loops back around. No, we're dead. <laughs> I did not think that would work. I did not think that would work. No, and that and didn't I get caught on that? No way. The basilisk is easier than Draco's snake. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Basilisk is probably easier than sneaking past these trolls. Alright, I'm just gonna go straight into here. So he sees you over there! I, I, so I guess the way I did it earlier is actually how you're... ...supposed to sneak by. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm getting so impatient in this part. I just want to fight the basilisk. Come on, man. Why are there trolls in the chamber? This makes no sense. It's like they just had to throw all the mechanics in at the end of the game. They're like, all right, guys, what are all of the mechanics we've used so far? Got to get those trolls in there. If this doesn't work this time, I'm going to be so mad. I'm not I'm not going out there right now. I'm just not doing it. Please don't see me. Oh, shoot, he's coming over here. No. We have to go. It's our only choice. Okay, this is the same thing as the last room. What is going on with this? Like... What? Maybe you just have to be really quick? Yep. There we go. You gotta fight Snape in the chamber too? No way. Are you being serious, King Tut? <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Hilarious. All right, we've got two now open. So we just need the third one, which is the Lost Tunnel. All right, Lost Tunnel. What are we gonna have to fight in here? Hey, 
Maybe this is where we meet up with Snape. <laughs> oh, dude. We gotta fully charge it. Incendio. Okay, just drop through. You don't fight. <laughs> I was about to say, that's that's stretching it far, even for me. I think we got the rats. Oh, great. You're still here. I do like how they're kind of... They're setting up that final battle. Just building the suspense. By the fact that you still hear him. What? Finally. Okay, that's clear. What is this? Vertimilius? Vertimilius. What in the world? Look at that. First try. First try. Genesis Games, welcome. If you're correct, the trolls are in the book. Wait, in the Chamber of Secrets? What? When does that happen? I'm not remembering that at all. Hey, JZT. Have a good rest of your day, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Derek in the house, too. Let's go, Derek. Welcome in, man. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Abigail, yes! You got the emotes. I think you got uh, gifted earlier. Oh, here we go. Finally, man. We're here. Ginny! Ginny! Don't be dead! Please wake up! She's alive. I don't but think only just. just. Ginny's been writing in the diary for months pouring out her soul. And as she did, I grew stronger until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the serpent of Slytherin on the Mudbloods and Filch's cat. I'm afraid Ginny told me all about Man. you, Harry. So I decided to show you my I was so surprised great reading the book for the first time. To gain your trust. One day, I hoped to lead another in my footsteps to finish the work of Salazar Slytherin. I knew you were on the trail of Slytherin's heir, so I led Ginny down here to wait. Tom Riddle was my filthy, non-magical father's name. Do you see it yet, Harry? I am Lord Voldemort, and now, Harry, I am going to teach you Aww, I was waiting for them lesson. to do, though. <laughs> Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts four. Tom Marvolo Riddle. Oh my goodness, there it is. Oh, it's really small. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not very long, I should say. It's definitely a large snake. Looks very different than the PS2 GameCube version of the snake. This one's almost like blue. Wait for it. Boom. Anna with the 12 months. Anna, welcome in. Thank you so much for the 12 months. Appreciate all the love and support. You're here just in time for the grand finale. I don't know why that one's missing. Oh, I think you can only hit it when he does that one right there. Oh, yeah, that... You weren't kidding, Linus. That was much easier. Maybe there's going to be part two. Do we have to use the sword? <gasps> Let's go! Look 
What do I do? Hold down the X button to deflect the beam. Okay, now this is a little bit more similar to how it was on the GameCube. Oh, wow. He does take a lot of health, though. The controller's vibrating, too. Man, it is really hard to keep it positioned on him. We're gonna die. Because he's taking down so much health and we're barely doing anything to him. And I don't think there's enough time. Okay, I can get away. All right, all right, good deal, good deal. Dude, there's got to be a way to keep it and run away. I wonder if you back up further. If you can... Uh, maybe a little bit more? You don't have to worry about the bite as much when you're back here, though, thankfully. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Trying to guide this? Hey, Jay-Z with the five. Jay-Z, appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Sorry you couldn't hear the... Uh, I don't know if you guys could hear it over the game volume or not. The game volume's pretty loud right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dude, I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this. Man, it's just so hard to keep it locked onto it. The actual battle part when you're using your wand is much easier. I'm just trying to like... Oh wow, we only hit him like twice that time. That's terrible. Yeah, I don't think we can take any more hits. I gotta stay away from the green, stay away from the bite. And hold X in time. Let's see, one, two. I feel like that's the most I can hit him. Such a bizarre mechanic for using a sword. Like, why not just have me have to run up and hit it a few times with the sword? Hey, we hit him. I think we hit him three times right there. I think we're a little bit too close this time. Yep, back up. So if you get close enough and he does the bite, then you don't have to worry about the venom or acid, whatever. Oh, we're getting close. Maybe one more, maybe? Yeah, see, then he spits out all the acid because he didn't do the bite that time. Come on. One, two, come on, get him a third. Ah, uh, one more should do it. One more. <gasps> oh, that was too close. Too close to the acid right there. And I don't know if we would have survived it. What? What? His health is gone! What is this? Oh, and one more hit. 
You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's get rid of that Horcrux. Let's get rid of it, Harry. Boom. Wow. The music is really good right there. I agree, Dan, yes. I agree. All right, one Horcrux has been destroyed. There was silence. Silence except for the steady drip, drip of ink still oozing from the diary. The basilisk venom had... Burned now it's so quiet hole, right compared to the music. Shaking all over, Harry pulled himself up. His head was spinning as though he'd traveled miles by flu powder. Ginny drew a great shuddering gasp. It was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me. He took me over. Harry told her that it was all right, that Riddle and the Basilisk were finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. They were flying upwards, and before he'd stopped enjoying the ride... Oh yeah, we did. Over. Fox did appear for just a moment. ...all hitting the wet floor of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Harry told them everything. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How Aragog had told him where the last victim of the basilisk had died. Welcome back, Hagrid. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim and that the entrance to the basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. <sighs> Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as a 16-year-old Tom Riddle... Now see, that Dumbledore looks more like the one in the... Diary ...had enchanted Ginny. GameCube, PS2 version. Later, Harry managed to release Dobby from the slavery of Lucius Malfoy. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And as for Harry... Whoa. Well, once again, <laughs> he truly was the boy... That's kind of a lived. creepy shot right there. <laughs> oh, man. All right, is there more? Somebody uh, before the stream started said they loved the, uh, the end of this one. So let's see if we get Finally. Let's oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. House cup. I don't know, man. I don't know who's going to win. It could be close. Ravenclaw? Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff? Right, right. You got the zoom in too. <laughs> It reminds me of uh, the end of the Prisoner of Azkaban movie. The freeze frame Gryffindor. right on his face. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. <laughs> Gryffindor. All right, let's see if there's anything else. It's never Ravenclaw. <laughs> oh, we got credits now, but like, hold on. That sounds like, is it gonna show us Fred and George? All right, let's see if we recognize any of these names from like Hogwarts Legacy. I always love looking at this as we play through these old games. See if any of the people we're familiar with. Lead programmer, Lewis Gordon. That's kind of cool. They have their little faces as portraits. In my version, they tell it in the story who wins the house cup. Yeah, I thought we might have a little, like a little scene with that, but Looks like they didn't. I feel like the teams were so much smaller back then, too. 
compared to what we get now. Gary Bindelow, lead animator. What a great idea for the credits, though. This is cool. Chris Sweetman? Dude, I hope that's what he actually looks like right there. <laughs> Sound programmer? Wait. Richard Griffiths? No way it's the... It's Vernon, though, right? Gotta be a different Richard Griffiths. I feel like we said that on the last game. What's next? So, channel members, stay tuned because this week I'm going to put up a poll. Wait, special thanks, the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone team. I'm going to put up a members only poll this week, guys. So, all of you uh, channel members, you're going to get to vote on which game we're going to dive into next week. I talked a little bit about it in the beginning in the just chatting section of the stream. Because we really have kind of like three directions we could go from here. And just to quickly recap, we can go we can go with a uh, Sorcerer's Stone, the remake. The one that's more in the design of uh, like the PS2 GameCube era for Chamber. They remade Sorcerer's Stone in that art style. That's one path. One path is obviously the handheld games. And then the other path is like the I need to, like like the bizarre off the wall games like the Wonder Book games, the Harry Potter Connect game. Those are our our three paths that we have left here. Or or I mean we could always throw in like a Magic Awaken stream or a uh, Hogwarts Legacy stream as well. Jedi Survivor. Anna, we did have some people asking earlier in the stream for like uh, different games. Voice Talent. I don't recognize any of those names from the last game. Jim Dale. There you go. You guys were asking if he was in here. Steve, wait, there's Stephen Fry too. I think Linus said in your version it is Stephen Fry. Any other movie actors in this one? Hey, Lewis McLeod, Dylan. <laughs> I think they spelled theirs differently, though, their last name. Any relation, Dylan? Quality assurance. Wow, lots of people on quality assurance. I love, the, is that the bubbling of Hermione's polyjuice right there that she's brewing? All right, so I always like to kind of give you guys my thoughts on where, I don't want to do an, a firm ranking. Oh my goodness, those character models. <laughs> Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle. I don't like to do a firm ranking yet, because like I said, I want to do that once we finish all the games and just do like a massive live stream where we rate every Harry Potter game and do like a big tier list. Um, this one's definitely in the upper half. It's definitely a good game. I consider it a good game for sure. I think it's probably... It's not as good as Chamber on... The PS2 GameCube version, in my opinion. It's not as good as Half-Blood Prince. I would probably say that it, it is better than... I think it's better than Order of the Phoenix. Oh, dude. Order of the Phoenix, I was just so disappointed when I replayed that. As an adult now. Like, I enjoyed it okay when I was a kid, but man. Let's Plays are up on the channel if you guys are, are newer here and missed any of those, but... But yeah, so I would think this one's probably in the top seven or eight right now. Top seven or eight. J.K. Rowling, David Heyman, those are two names we know. 
Yeah, I didn't see anyone from like, uh... The name I'm always looking for is Moira Squire, because she's been there for quite some time. But I don't think... Oh, and then we got Albus! There he is! Uh, add HP1 on PC. I played it, Store. That one is available. That is here on the channel. You can go back and watch our playthrough of that. Yeah, I've played that one. Oh, and the other two I'm forgetting about is the PC of Chamber and the PC of Prisoner of Azkaban. We do still have those as well. Those are a little bit more problematic, though, because of getting them to run. There she is! Moira Squire, WBIE special thanks. Moira Squire, Robin Blackburn, and Sarah Booth Henry. This is all the way back in 2002. Dude, Moira would probably be my number one. If I could interview someone from the Harry Potter video games, I think it would be her. I think she would be number one because she's just, she's been there. She's been involved in so much with the series. She's seen it go through so many different phases and iterations. Whoa, don't turn up. Uh, I can't move. For some reason, my analog controls stopped working. That's weird. Sorry, Harry. But if oh, we bought them all already. Yeah. All right, man. Find solution online for Harry Potter on PC. Yeah, I, I've gotten it running. That's not the problem. It's actually streaming it. And being able to see the chat. Because we had... I think I still have it up on the channel somewhere. Where we started Chamber of Secrets on stream. But because it has to change the resolution... It like totally warped my OBS window in the other screen. So like I couldn't see anything going on with the stream. Like, I couldn't see any of that. I couldn't see chat. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, I could pull up like my phone or something and sit over here to read chat. <laughs> if, if I had to. But yeah, I think YouTube gives us like five poll options. So I'll put up a couple of poll options. Any of you, all you channel members, be on the lookout. Uh, at some point this week, I'll put up a poll. Actually, probably I need to do it later today. Let me put a note here actually. That way it'll give it a give me a give me plenty of time to get ready because if if it's if you guys vote for the Wonder Book game, I'm gonna need to go find a PlayStation um, Move controller. If you vote for the PC versions, I'll need to figure out how to get those running. And if you vote for the handheld versions, I'll need to figure out how to get those running as well. <clears throat> Don't forget the dueling. Yeah, yeah. They have the dueling option over there as well with uh, those little dueling challenges. Apparently Moira was in House MD as well. House MD, what do you mean? House MD. Did I stream Harry Potter 1 in debug mode on PC? I, I, I The first one just worked. I, I followed a guide that I found online. It was actually a Medium article, an article on Medium. Someone, a user by the name of Silver Laid, L-A-I-D-E. That guide is still up and running, and it, it worked just fine, and I was able to um, play it. I can't remember if I live streamed that one or if I just recorded it and posted it as a Let's Play. It may have just been a Let's Play, actually. Oh, she's an actor? What? That's what threw me off. She was in House MD. No way. That's cool. Well, yeah, she would be a super fun interview. <laughs> Let's play Hogwarts Legacy again. Hey, that's that's an option too. Actually, I don't know if it'll be an option or not. I only have I'm gonna have five choices, so. Alright, man. Well, I appreciate you guys all being here. I hope you've enjoyed this journey. I, I had a lot of fun with this game and with the uh, 
with Sorcerer's Stone on PS1. They were both better than I was expecting. Uh, you can clearly tell the charm that went into these games. Lots of charm in these games. Watch Harry Potter on stream. Noah, are you trying to get me banned? Are you trying to get the WB um, copyright folks after me? You can't even play like... You play like three seconds of that. And it gets hit with copyright. <laughs> That's why the clips that I, any clip that you see me use, like you have to be, you have to use such a small clip if you're going to use them, like a little movie scene, even in like a video, it has to be super, super quick. All right, guys. Yes, I will see you all next Tuesday. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. Stay tuned. We'll have more videos hitting the channel later this week. By the way, DVDH, if you're still in here. Did you see the video? Did you see the video on the top 10 Hogwarts Legacy secrets? That was a lot of fun. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, make sure you check it out. If you're here lurking and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our new content. We have a Discord as well. You can also follow us over on Twitter or X at Retro and Tour. And guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day.